Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to affirm my support for this resolution, which proclaims May 12, 2021 as Haitian Unity Day in New York State. Um, as we celebrate the Haitian Heritage Month, it is important that we recognize the rich heritage and contribution of the people of Haiti who resides here in our great state and nation. During the Haitian Heritage Month, we celebrate the great history and culture traditions of the Haitians in the United States, teaching everyone about the first and only black slave revolt against the mighty powerful French military under the leadership of Toussaint Louverture, Jean-Jacques de Saline, who was a former slave, Pension, Jamaican duty bookman, Grenadian Henry Christophe, and so many more who have contributed. Haitian Unity Day is about unity. It's about all of us coming together to support being one, one as a nation. As you heard from my colleague, Haiti is still undergoing some struggles in the government. There's famine, people are still homeless, and we continue to pray as we unify all of us for the country of Haiti. When we love ourselves, we can love others just as much and more. And for all that the people of Haiti and the communities and out in here and all the doctors and, education and educators and business owners as a result of the resiliency and proud and pride and hard work from the people of Haiti all help shape lives here, right here. And we should not denounce their existence and contributions. Most recently, um, a young Haitian American child in my district by the name of Romy Vilsant died this week after a bullying incident at his public school. Many, many immigrant children, including Haitian Americans, are subject subjected to ethnic harassment, discrimination, and bullying. But today, we must recognize that we can prevent tragic incidents, such as what happened to this Haitian American child in my district. We are proud of the strides made in New York City, such as Haitian Studies Institute at Brooklyn College, the establishment of Little Haiti, and soon, the co-naming of Newkirk Avenue subway station to be called Little Haiti. We in the assembly are now six Haitian Americans strong and two Haitian Americans strong in the city council. We are really excited of this day because we wanna promote and educate everyone. Remember the Haitian flag motto, Union Fait La Force. That is just a nice way to begin. With unity, there's strength. Unity, strength, and reclaiming the Haitian history. 